this is the Metroid Sign Show with your dreams. Now, never forget your dreams. They may be small, whether you're young or old, they're still dreams, and you can accomplish them. They can be simple or difficult, but you can accomplish them. Just put in the hard work. And Brian, if you're listening, please talk in the chat. Come on, Brian, come talk in the chat. Just telling Brian to come talk in the chat on uh, Skype. But uh, Brian has his own dreams. He wants to be uh, a book writer for Kendall. Um, publish his, his book for Kendall, but uh, he hasn't done it yet. Brian, if you're listening, you can do it. It's easy and simple. They don't, they don't charge you. The only thing they charge you for is the advertising. They don't charge you for first days, but then you have to pay for the membership. I want to pay for membership. It's like a year membership, but it costs something like thirty pounds or twenty pounds, like sixty dollars. It's not really that much, Brian. If you're listening, so anyone wanting to post a book on um, Kindle, Kindle, you know, or Amazon, sell it, you know, it's pretty easy. There's loads of software out there to create your book cover. You can make it as look as adventurous as you want or cool. Or oh, if you want to be an Olympic sprinter, just keep training every day, running, you know. Or if you just want to go to college, you know, whatever course you want, just try and get the best grade you can. So you can do really, and actually do your homework. It's quite difficult for me. <laughs> And um, if you have an interesting show, I will probably follow you on speaker. So um, if you want to become a radio star, like actually be actually on the radio, um, it's not that hard to do really. You just got to keep, you know, going for those job interviews, and you know, keep doing it. My friend is in J my friend James invited me to play the drawing thing in Facebook and I don't want to because I'm doing a live broadcast you know talking to you guys if I was listening to this no please someone talk in the chat I know I don't have many listeners. Most people don't have many listeners when they start off, but when they grow, they get better at talking. Eventually, I'm going to get an actual mic because I've got a built in mic in my computer and it's not exactly that good. I mean, it's really shit. Simon's online, hopefully, he'll watch my show. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I've got my own Facebook page, if anyone still listens to this radio show, haven't really got that much hype on it, you know. I'm the only person commenting on it after all. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and get Simon to uh, go and listen to my show, 
even though uh, I try and listen to his show every time. Can you listen to my show? My show, Simon. It's live. Yes, I am. I'm not, it's live, you idiot. What's he on about? I'm not on air. I'm on air, Simon. Thanks, Simon. He's actually listening, hopefully. Hopefully you can start the conversation here. Say something in the chat, Simon. Hello Simon. How are you Simon? Can you hear me okay Simon? Simon. Simon can you hear me okay? Am I too loud? Too quiet? Can you hear me, Simon? Simon! Pancakes. And waffles with ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. What do you think of that? A bit blurred though. Ah. Well, you see the problem there, Simon? I've got a mic that is built into my laptop so you know so it doesn't exactly come out too good built in mics will we get a new mic you know one for my laptop that I plug in that doesn't sound like shit <laughs> if you did hear that Simon please leave a mystery mark in the chat Mark! Mark Fox, you seem to be like commenting on my show. At least I got one listener. Yeah. Simon's not even commenting that much, he's, he's very quiet. Aren't you, Simon? Ah, Simon, there we are. Ryan only loves you in a non sexual way. Which means no pancakes for you, but Ryan. And no pancakes for Simon. Simon. No pancakes, Simon. Not today. The cake is a lie. More importantly, I'm sure you guys have some dreams that you want to accomplish. I know Simon wants to be on radio, a real radio station. What about you, Mark? What What's your dream, Mark? What's your dream, Mark? Come on, you can tell me. Mark, are you even listening to the show?
need to chat on my show, Simon. Please. To go for a rank, Mark, that's not a dream. You can do that any day. I've been doing that during the whole week, every day. Um, moving on, Mark, what's your actual dream? What is your actual dream, Mark? Please tell the audience. My actual dream is to become a game developer, to publish my own games. My, like, if I don't get to publish a really good games, I don't really care. Um, I, I just care about, you know, publishing a game in some way, or helping to publish a game, because I want to be a game developer. And Mark wants to, Mark Fox wants to be a cook. Um, what, what type of cook do you want to be, like, one of those cooks who works in a retirement home, or a chef at an expensive restaurant, or cheap restaurant, or one of those people who cooks pizzas at Domino's or somewhere else. What type of cook? Like where? You're going to be an independent cook, write your own cooking books. Mark Fox, what type of cook? Tell me now. The audience wants to know. Simon's getting some people in here. Thanks, bro. That's why I love Simon in a non-sexual way. Which um, Simon started off as the same, which will be going all around quite a lot, I think. To some people, I sound quite posh. To myself, I just sound like a normal person. And I know it's all Porsche, I live in a counter of that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, unless that's the definition of Porsche, um yeah. <laughs> Hello Anna. <laughs> um I'm hoping you don't leave speaker radio because like I'm really listening listening to your shows like all the music you play. You're a pretty good DJ. <laughs> yes, everyone is nicking your saying, Simon. <laughs> Even though it's not copyright. <laughs> so you can't do anything about it, Simon. And you can't get words copyrighted. That's like, um... Alan Sugar getting... These words, you're fired, copyrighted or Donald Trump doing that. It's, it's, it wouldn't work, would it? You're fired. Every time you, someone says that, you have to pay for it. <laughs> Anna, yes, you do. You do DJ DJ shows, music, play some music. Anyway, Anna, how are you? And Emma, what's 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 your dream and how are you? Emma, what's your dream? Mark Fox is to be a cook. He didn't tell us what type of cook. Mine's to be a game developer. And Simon's is to be a radio presenter for Real Radio. So what's your dream, Emma? Yeah, your dream. What do you want to be? What type of job do you want? Um, dot dot dot, that's not a very good answer, Emma. I expect that someone as clever as you to have an actual answer to this question. 
the most clever I know of the other people in this cat. Well, well, like Mark Fox first answer when he said um, <laughs> something really inappropriate. To go for a wank. That's what that's what his answer was. I said, "What's your dream?" And he said, "To go for a wank." And then he put "No, to be a cook afterwards." <laughs> so uh, Mark obviously took a long time to answer the question, and he still didn't give me. Oh, a, a footballer. Really, Emma? Do you know? Do you know how many bones you could break? That like how many bones you could break? It's really dangerous. My friend broke both of his legs by heading a football. I know it sounds funny, but he put all of his energy into it, and he went forwards and. <laughs> put all his energy into it and he went forwards and hit the ball and <laughs> broke his leg. He didn't know it was broken until the next day when he woke up. He kept playing. See, when you don't know whether you broke your leg or not, you don't notice it. But when you, when you find out you've broken something, then you feel it. It's like when you have a cut. I didn't feel it until I realised I had a cut, <laughs> you know? Apparently my friends are listening to it. You used to play football when you were younger, Emma. I bet you did. Emma, you said you quite liked your, like, art. Any particular part in art that you like? And Simon, where did you go? I want to say a shout out to my best mates, Archie and Kevin. Because they're pretty cool. And uh, what do you mean by just drawing? Like, can you give more information about that? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that picture, it's pretty cool. Do you draw anything else besides Tom and Jerry if I... Because to be a true artist, you have to draw more than one picture. And Archie, if you're listening to this show, like, why don't you just create an account? You can broadcast your live show too. All you need is a mic and a computer. Unless you're on your phone. No, um, I'm not saying you trace them. I'm saying, do you do any different, like, pictures besides Tom and Jerry? Like, any other pictures? Because if you do, then you're a true artist. Mark, you traced it. Like, do you do di different like pictures? Yeah. Besides one, that one picture. Because if you do, they're probably amazing. Mine aren't too good. I will say that, but they are improving. And I still feel like shit from PE yesterday. <laughs> if actually she's still listening. When I woke up this morning, everything hurts. Because <laughs> I went full out in PE. Oh, 
Archie, if you're still on um, Facebook, can you tell me what is your dream? Tell Richard Callum said to sort his leg out. <laughs> How am I going to do that, Archie? <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> to be famous in Australia, really? Actually, that's a weird dream. What do you mean be famous in Australia? As a movie presenter? Or presenter? Or like, director? Or <laughs> go to college and get a good job. Ah. Farmer. Ah. I can't read, actually, as you can see. I'm a dyslexic cunt. <laughs> No. And I love pancakes. Can't get enough of them. Yeah, farmer. <laughs> I said famous lol. What's Callum's dream, Archie? Do you know? I don't know them both from what about Richard Street, I hope he starts to become a football player because he might hurt his leg again. <laughs> Whatever it is, I, I, my dream probably won't be hoped because like that travel writing girl, I don't think it's going too well. I haven't done any research on it, Archie. Yet. <laughs> I'm going to do something tonight. Callum said he's doomed, bro. Why is he doomed? <laughs> I'm kind of doomed because I got D's all across the board and one E for the travel writing then. And if I don't get a D, I don't get to do level 2 course in IT. I have to do the level 1 course. Know how annoying that is? <laughs> now I'm going to play a random song. That uh, me and my friends James, James made. <laughs> my friend James is the guitarist and I'm the singer. It's so random, you probably wonder what the fuck. It's like 36 seconds long. Random song. <laughs> I'm not that good at singing. And there's a really popular video on YouTube um, of one of the <laughs> prime ministers that um, runs one of the countries in Africa. Um, it's called Eat the Poop, and um, it's about this video about how they ban gay people from Africa. Or they're trying to ban gay people from Africa and tell them to stop eating the poop. <laughs> it's a really funny video. <laughs> so 
Simon, what's wrong with you? I love you. Not sorry, not gay, Simon. You need some help. I love you as a friend, Simon, but nothing more. Not gay, sorry, Simon. Disappoint you. And Archie, if you want to like get an account on there, all you have to do is log in with your Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus account. I logged in with all three. And it literally like posts it to your Facebook once you've done a show. Whether you want it to or not. Well, you you can change the settings saying, you know, when you comment on someone else's show or like their show, follow their show. Could say whether to share it on Facebook. Okay, I'll give you a link. Got like three messages on Facebook. Who from the world? Okay, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Archie, you liked my show. <laughs> so, um, there you go, Archie. You can see that in the chat room, or maybe not. I don't know. I sent it to you on Skype, there you go. I'm, I'm on Skype, that's how I'm talking to you through Facebook. Choose Skype, you yeah. know. Well, Archie, I think you should become a good farmer, considering you're, like, you're quite good in our environment, as I can tell. Probably better than Willow, the Willow tree, the Vicar of Digby. It's a girl in this movie. <laughs> Willow get used to get really annoyed when you used to. We, I used to call him Willow the tree, Willow tree, you know, or oh, Pillow. That was my favorite saying to him. Pillow. I don't know why me and my friend James made that song, it was like 3 a.m. and we just couldn't help it. Like that song. We'd we like I did the singing and then sent it to James with my recording software. And then James edited it and put in his guitar. And I posted it on YouTube. It doesn't have that many viewers, that's like a hundred viewers. I'm going to take a commercial break now, because we haven't had one yet. Okay, Anna, can you hear me now? Put, put down there where you can hear me now. Put down there, Anna, where you can hear me now. Am I too close to the mic still? Finally, the end of the show. I want to say except for potato. And Emma, you're hot. See you guys later. <laughs>